critical number. Find critical numbers of f of x equals to minus 4 over 3 x cube plus 3x square plus 4x plus 1. Well, you should remember that critical numbers are the numbers in the domain of the function where f dash x could be 0 or undefined. And they tell us that there is a possibility of our extrema at those points, right? So that is what we use critical numbers for. So to find the critical numbers, let's find the derivative of the function. So we give an f of x, let's find f dash of x. So that will be equals to minus 4 over 3 and x cubed will be 3x squared derivative plus 6x plus 4. So that is the derivative of the given function. And let's try to factor this. So we can simplify first. So we get 3 and 3 cancels out. We get minus 4x squared plus 6x plus 4. Now we can factor minus 2 from here. So we get minus 2 out. We get 2 times x squared minus 3x and minus 2. Now this can be factored as you need a product of minus 4. So you, that you're looking for a product of minus 4 and sum of minus 3. So we could write this as 2x squared. Product of minus 4 and sum of minus 3 means minus 4 plus 1, right? So we can write this as minus 4x plus x. That means we split minus 3x as minus 4x plus x. Now that is minus 2 times. Now we can combine these two terms and factor out 2x from here. We get 2x and we are left with x minus 2 and here we have x minus 2 already, correct? And now we can, I'm taking it on this side, so we can write this as minus 2 and we'll take x minus 2 common and we are left with 2x plus 1. So that is the factored form of f dash x. Now for critical points this should be either 0 or undefined. Now this could be 0. There is no factor in the denominator. So for f dash x equals to 0 we have two possibilities. That is either x is equals to 2 or x is equals to minus half. Right? By equating we get this by equating these factors to 0. So we get x equals to 2 or x equals to minus half. Right? And therefore we can write down our answer and that is the critical points or critical numbers are minus half and 2. So these are the values in the interval so these are actually the values in the domain of the function where we can expect uh, extreme values like local ex local maximum local minimum so so that is how we use these critical numbers but this is an exercise just to figure out where are the critical numbers right we'll do one more example and then we'll get into details of finding uh, maximum and minimum for a given function thank you